and there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. We are no longer a Christian nation. You've been gone too long, Alice. There are matters which might benefit from your attention. Friends cannot be neglected. the night, and the sky becomes the sea, when the clock strikes heavy, and there's no time for tea, and in our darkest hour, before my final rhyme, she will come back home to Wonderland, and turn back the hands of time. Time is a he. He is not someone you want as your enemy. Young lady, your time is up. You are not fooling anybody. We are fundamentally transforming the United States of America. Muslims have enriched the United States. You're lying. Israel, when you had that first strike warning, it was brought about by the Assyrians, yes. who were the masters of terrorism. People don't realize the Assyrians invented terrorism. They invented terror as a form of, of li literally strategy. And, and every terrorist to this day is a descendant in a, spiritually of, of the Assyrians. I consider it part of my responsibility as President of the United States to fight against negative stereotypes of Islam wherever they appear. So you have the sign of, so the second, the second harbinger in the harbinger is the sign of the Assyrian or the terrorist. So, so that this first strike on the nation is an act of terror, which happened to America 9-11. Muslims have enriched the United States. So I've always been wondering since then because the pattern is that, that Israel, when it, what happened, it had that first strike by the Assyrians, but then years later, they didn't repent, but years later, they enter into another conflict with Assyria. And what happens is this second conflict brings destruction to the land. We are, we are five, five days, days away, away from, from fundamental matrix the, the United, United States, States of America. America. I am not somebody who promotes same-sex marriage. I have to tell you, as I, I said, I've been going you. through an evolution. It is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. through an evolution. The transforming, the transforming. We are no longer a Christian nation. Transforming, transforming. transforming. On this night over 200 years ago, George Washington held in his hand the first ever presidential address. In that address was a prophetic warning. It was this. The propitious smiles of heaven can never be expected on a nation that disregards the eternal rules of order and right which heaven itself hath ordained. In other words, if America should ever turn away from God and his ways, if it should ever disregard his eternal rules of order and right, then his blessings, the smiles of heaven, would be removed from the land. It was an ancient warning. It had been given in Hebrew words by the prophets to the kingdom of Israel. But Israel turned away from God and disregarded his eternal rules of order and right. They drove God out of their government, out of their public squares, out of their culture, out of the lives of their children. They worshipped idols and served other gods. They celebrated immorality and they persecuted righteousness. They lifted up their children on the altars of foreign gods. And the blessings of God were removed from the land and replaced with judgment. 
It is two and a half thousand years later, and America has made the same mistake. We too have turned away from God. We too have driven him out of the government, out of our public square, out of our culture, out of the lives of our children. We too have profaned the sacred and sanctified the profane. And we too have killed our most innocent, over 55 million of our unborn children, and our collective hands are covered with blood. What we were warned never to do, we now have done. Shalom, ministers of God and leaders. Uh, this is Jonathan Kahn, and I want to share with you what's been on our hearts. What happened at the end of June was a tectonic event. Uh, it was culture changing. It was a paradigm shift with profound ramifications, not only concerning marriage, but for America's future, not only America's future, but concerning persecution, concerning society, law, education, apostasy, and even judgment. It altered what has been the cornerstone of society for thousands of years of history. It altered the most basic component of civilization, like altering the atom and not expecting a profound metamorphosis. In Daniel, the fourth creature, the creature that would be most linked to the end times, is depicted with a Hebrew word uh, that means diverse from the others, separate, different, different from the others. It's, it can even be taken as unnatural. It's a different altered civilization. And we are approaching this day, and this was a watermark in that approach. It represents the breaking of nothing short of the order of God. Washington, our first president, on his first day, gave a warning in the first ever presidential address, which is that basically the nation, if America ever turns away from God, and he said, disregards the eternal rules of order and right, which heaven ordains, the blessings of God will be removed from the land. Well, if anything represents the disregarding of the eternal rules of order and right, which heaven has ordained, it is this what just happened. It represented a rejection, a profound rejection of the nation's Judeo-Christian foundation and the word of God on which this nation was initially built. An officially post-Christian nation or even anti-Christian nation with a culture. It is the institutionalization of sin. And when that happens, persecution happens. that first strike by the Assyrians, but then years later, they didn't repent. They didn't repent. But years later, they enter into another conflict with Assyria. And what happens is this second conflict brings destruction to the land. You have the same people who brought the first strike of terror. They are the ones, they, the, the nation gets into another conflict and they bring the, the calamity. Well, so I'm watching, is America going to be involved in another calamity, another thing there? Well, just, just uh, just recently, I was in the Capitol. The Lord called me to speak to members of Congress. The president made a speech that night. He announced we are going to war with ISIS. ISIS, ISIS, is that they are they are they are centered in the same area, ancient Assyria. That's Syria and Iraq. Iraq is ancient Assyria. They have just they just took over Mosul, which is which is Nineveh. Yes, they are already being likened uh, like no other people to the ancient Assyrians they are bloodthirsty they are they 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 inflict terror on their on their people they are an offshoot of al-qaeda which means it's the same people here's the pattern the same people as who did the strike of 9-11 and they are you know the Assyrians literally decapitated their victims and display they put them on display ISIS decapitates their That's victims, right. puts them on display in in social media, just like what the Assyrians would do to, to inspire this terror. Yeah. So here we are. It's a little. It's a bit chilling. We are it now is. entering the second part of this. Here we are. It's a, little, it's a bit chilling. We are it now is. entering the second part of this. The second part of this. Just started. 
shooting, 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 and that's when we knew something was wrong, when we, everybody just dropped. Huh. So here oh, we here are. We it's, are. It's, it's a little, little bit chilling. Chilly. We are it now is. entering the second part of this. The second part of this. Tonight, chilling new details about the deadly rampage and the three hour standoff between police and a determined terrorist. Late night, couples dancing at the popular gay club Pulse. The propitious smiles of heaven can never be expected on a nation that disregards the eternal rules of order and right which heaven itself hath ordained. In other words, if America should ever turn away from God and his ways, if it should ever disregard his eternal rules of order and right, then his blessings, the smiles of heaven, would be removed from the land. We are fundamentally transforming the United States of America. What happened at the end of June was a tectonic event. It represented a rejection, a profound rejection of the nation's Judeo-Christian foundation and the word of God on which this nation was initially built. It is the institutionalization of sin. And when that happens, persecution happens. Tonight, the chilling details of what the gunman said during that three hour siege. Just after 2 a.m., Omar Mateen arrives heavily armed with a high powered assault rifle, a handgun, multiple rounds of ammunition. Islam is not part of the problem, it is an important part of promoting peace. He had retreated with several hostages calling 911 30 minutes after the gunfire started, telling the dispatcher, I want to let you know I'm in Orlando and I did the shootings. What I can tell you is that while the killer made these murderous statements, he did so in a chilling, calm and deliberate manner. When asked his name, Omar Mateen responds, my name is I pledge allegiance to Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi of the Islamic State. This is a federal terrorism investigation led by the FBI. At 2.30 a.m., the gunman calls 911, hanging up twice before a dispatcher calls him back. And there, on the phone, Mateen pledges allegiance to ISIS. Mateen pledges allegiance to ISIS. There are strong indications of radicalization by this killer and a potential inspiration by foreign terrorist organizations. Mateen pledges allegiance to ISIS. Islam, Islam is, not is not part of the problem. Part of the problem. Part of the problem. It is an important part of promoting peace. Promoting peace. 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 There are strong indications of radicalization by this killer. Are you the devil? Are you the devil? Are you the devil? But I didn't see. All you need to know is you work for me. I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death. We are no longer a Christian nation. And welcome to Hannity, and tonight the left's utter incompetence has completely ruined our foreign policy, now creating chaos all around the world and a crisis right here in America. Now the suicide bombings in Turkey and the terror attack in Orlando, they are just the most recent results of major missteps at every single turn over the past seven and a half years by President Obama and Hillary Clinton. ISIS, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, driving toward Baghdad. The jihadist group so extreme even Al-Qaeda wants nothing to do with them. There is a mosque in every state in our union and over 1,200 mosques within our borders. We are no longer a Christian nation. Islamic militants are unleashing brutality and bloodshed. It is important for Western countries to avoid impeding Muslim citizens from practicing religion as they see fit. It is important for Western countries to avoid impeding Muslim citizens from practicing religion as they see fit. The boy would have the worst of the worst. I 
I consider it part of my responsibility as President of the United States to fight against negative stereotypes of Islam wherever they appear. Where? Let's just say I put him in the hole and threw away the hole. There's rumors, Amanda, that some of them have abilities. Oh, yeah. I have seen things. Maybe Superman was some kind of beacon for them to or creep back in the shadows. The future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. Maybe Superman was some kind of beacon for them to creep back in the shadows. Maybe Superman was some kind of beacon for them to creep back in the shadows. Now let's start from the beginning of Barack Obama. Remember, he kicked off his presidency by going on that apology tour. He was promising a new relationship with the Muslim world. We are no longer a Christian nation. The enduring faith My Muslim faith. of over a billion people is so much bigger than the narrow hatred of a few. I also know civilization's debt to Islam. The future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. I also know civilization's debt to Islam. The enduring faith. My Muslim faith. American Muslims have enriched the United States. We are no longer a Christian nation. There is a mosque in every state in our union. We are no longer a Christian nation. And over 1,200 mosques within our borders. Let there be no doubt, Islam is a part of America. We are no longer a Christian nation. And I consider it part of my responsibility as President of the United States to fight against negative stereotypes of Islam wherever they appear. We are no longer a Christian nation. We are no longer a Christian nation. I also know civilization's debt to Islam. We are no longer a Christian nation. We are no longer a Christian nation. He was promising a new relationship with the Muslim world, which of course paved the way for instability and of course an explosion of violence now. It is important for Western countries to avoid impeding Muslim citizens from practicing religion as they see fit. Muslims have enriched the United States. Here at home, the White House has dangerously ignored the rising threat of radical Islam. Get this, the FBI now says that there are active ISIS-related cases now in all 50 states with over 1,000 total investigations. There is some fear, some fear that some of these refugees may actually be posing as refugees, but they might actually be Al-Qaeda or ISIS terrorists uh, trying to sneak into Europe or the United States. What do you make of that? Well, certainly that's a possibility. I mean, uh, there, you, you, can't, uh, you can't dismiss that out of hand. We should be uh, conscious of the potential that uh, Daesh may attempt to embed uh, agents uh, within that, po that population. The group is probably exploring a variety of means for infiltrating operatives into the West including in refugee flows. And when it comes to America taking in refugees from Syria, well, you know, the president, Hillary Clinton, they have flat out ignored the warnings from top U.S. intelligence and national security officials that are warning ISIS will infiltrate the refugee population. Want to assemble a task force of the most dangerous people on the planet? Who you think can do some good? All of you know who I am. The bad guys. Exactly. If anything goes wrong, we blame them. We have built into liability. What makes you think you can control them? Because getting people that act against their own self interest is what I do. Getting people that act against their own self interest is what I do for a living. He prematurely he withdrew U.S. troops from Iraq. Well, that created an opening for ISIS to grow and take over cities that many Americans fought, bled, and died for. Fox News military analyst, retired General Tom McInerney is with me now. General, thanks in advance for the time. Do you agree that Hillary Clinton helped in some way ISIS to get off the ground or thrive? 
absolutely, Deirdre. Look, uh, the mayor pointed out, when we withdrew from Iraq, we created the conditions that destabilized Iraq, made it a proxy of Iran, and enabled ISIS to flourish. In addition, when she destabilized Libya with the attack on uh, Libya, Benghazi grew out of it. At Benghazi, CIA had a classified covert program that they were shipping weapons into Turkey that were going to Syria, and they were being given to ISIS and the al-Nusra, both radical Islamist groups. Now, ISIS was only that big then. Now, of course, they flourished, and they were hoping that ISIS would take down uh, Assad. But they supplied weapons that was approved by the president and Hillary Clinton to ISIS. What difference at this point does it make? They supplied weapons that was approved by the president and Hillary Clinton to ISIS. I want to assemble a task force of the most dangerous people on the planet who we think can do some good. They're bad guys. Exactly. And if anything goes wrong, we blame them. We have built-in deniability. What makes you think you can control them? My favorite. After the Orlando terror attacks, Obama's attorney general, Loretta Lynch, she claimed love was the best way to defeat radical Islamic terrorism. Our most effective response to terror and to hatred is compassion, it's unity, and it's love. Wow. Transforming, transforming. We are no longer a Christian nation. Islam is a part of America. Yeah, one of the points I want to make is, is that if you actually took the number of Muslims Americans, uh, you know, we'd be one of the mo largest Muslim countries in the world. We are no longer a Christian nation. Uh, yeah, we'd be one of the largest Muslim countries in the world. There is a mosque in every state in our union. We are no longer a Christian nation and over 1,200 mosques within our borders. We are no longer a Christian nation. Islam is not part of the problem in combating violent extremism. It is an important part of promoting peace. They supplied weapons that was approved by the president and Hillary Clinton to ISIS. What difference at this point does it make? They supplied weapons that was approved by the president and Hillary Clinton to ISIS. What different? What different? What difference at this point does it make? Hello? In the United States, rules on charitable giving have made it harder for Muslims to fulfill their religious obligation. Islam is not part of the problem. It is an important part of promoting peace. They supplied weapons that was approved by the president and Hillary Clinton to ISIS. Now it's saying they're far from dead. They are, they're actually growing. And this is now struck in the struck Paris. And so this is a sign that they that that their ultimate thing is they have even warned. They said we will strike Washington. They've literally said it. Literally said it. That their ultimate thing is they have even warned. They said we will strike Washington. They've literally said it. Literally said it. Islam is not part of the problem in combating violent extremism. It is an important part of promoting peace. Muslims have enriched the United States. 
All of you know who I am. The future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. All of you know who I am. The future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. I also know civilization's debt to Islam. We are no longer a Christian nation. The future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. I also know civilization's debt to Islam. The enduring faith My muscle pain. of over a billion people is so much bigger than the narrow hatred of a few. It's so much bigger than the narrow hatred of a few. They supplied weapons that was approved by the president and Hillary Clinton to ISIS. <laughs> What difference at this point does it make? Islam is a part of America. The hell is Father Goody? Allah. The power is given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill the soul and the hunger and the death and the beast of the earth. All of you know who I am. Islam is not part of the problem. Part of the problem. Part of the problem. It is an important part of promoting peace. We are no longer a Christian nation. I also know civilization's debt to Islam. The must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. We are fundamentally transforming the United States of America. No matter how fast you run, no matter how far you go, the beast will follow. Exalted in the earth. My muscle pain. There are strong indications of radicalization by this killer. The future must not belong to those who slander the prophet of Islam. There are strong indications of radicalization by this killer. I also know civilization's debt to Islam. We are no longer a Christian nation. There are strong indications of radicalization by this killer.
great shaking is coming, but the point of it is to bring the Amen. nation and all those who will listen back to God. There is a mosque in every state in our union and over 1,200 mosques within our borders. Islam is not part of the problem. There are strong indications of radicalization by this killer. And it is an important part of promoting peace. present you with a gift. <laughs> Tonight, America stands at the crossroads. And as Elijah came to the summit of Mount Carmel to make a declaration, we've come to declare that our God is not Baal, our God is not Molech, our God is not government, our God is not money, our God is not power, not pleasure, our God is not political correctness, or any other man-made thing. We've come to this hill to declare that there is only one God, and He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's the God of Israel and of all nations. He alone is the rock upon which this nation has come into existence. And from this high place, we make this declaration. We will not bow down our knees to Baal. We will not bow down our knees to political correctness. We will not bow down our knees to a morality that as, is as shifting as sand in the wind. We will not bow down our knees to the laws and precepts of rebellion or the sacred cows of moral apostasy. We will not bow down our knees to the idols of man. We will not bow down to Baal. We will bow down our knees only to the Lord our God, come what may, and we will have no other gods before him. For some trust in chariots, some trust in princes, some trust in Supreme Courts, some trust in White Houses, some trust in governments, some trust in Wall Street, some trust in powers, and some trust in idols. But we will trust in the name of the Lord our God, in the name above all names, above all kings, above all powers. We will trust in the only name given by which we can be saved. We will trust in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Messiah, the King of all kings, the Lord of all lords, the judge of all judges, the light of the world, the glory of Israel, the foundation stone upon which this nation came into existence, and the only answer, the only chance, and the only hope that America has that it might once again shine with the light of the fire of the presence of the glory of the living God and not go to hell. So help us God. Thank you.